Good evening. This is Tina again. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do conditional expression in time leaf. Okay, suppose you want to do some if else conditions. So this one I'm gonna do is add a A H I F equals so no expression. Okay. Okay, that's it. And close it. Conditional expression. Okay. Ooh. Conditional expression. And uh, I it's uh, what I'm gonna do is I will ja, uh, it's better here called standard expression okay anyway let me create another uh, controller doesn't matter okay but each controller will only has one method conditional expression okay and sorry guys, I just did a copy from here. Okay. And I'm gonna have what? Have a controller here. And this URL I have to change to using this one, right? And here, conditional expression. And here, I will also say go to a page called a conditional expression. Condition. Oh, here how misspelling. Conditional. Conditional. Conditional, right? And also here how to change inside the inside the index conditional expression. Okay. And what's gonna do is I will have a person. Okay. Let me change the attribute called the person one. Okay. Then I will have another person, okay, okay, then this one is a Tina1, Tina2, Tina1, and this one will have ID as 2, and this one, let's call, uh, give a name, Rujan, okay, X-I-N-G, how about that, okay, and address I will give now. And uh, in the model, I will add the attribute, which is uh, person2. This is the key. And the value is Tina2, OK? So now, in my uh, model, I have two attributes. One is the person1. The other one is the person2. Next step. We create an HTML called a conditional HTML. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, add a namespace okay, called uh, HTTP www.timeleaf.org. Okay. And here we will also have H1 called a conditional expression and uh, for the first one h2 is called uh, if then if it were if it is true then do something and uh, uh, what is it gonna be okay so we have a paragraph Okay. And what I'm going to do is using th text, okay, and uh, using dollar sign, suppose we retrieve person one dot address, right? Person one has address. Then we are going to display address dot street. Okay. And here is default street. Okay. And another one is uh, this one. Person two doesn't have address, and uh, this thing won't be displayed. You will see nothing about uh, default person one street. You will see nothing displayed for person two street. 
person one and this one person two, okay? And uh, this is, uh, if this part is true, it's going to display this piece. If this part is a false, which is the person two, right? Person two doesn't have an address. Then nothing going to happen. You will see nothing displayed for this paragraph. So let's uh, redeploy. I run in the debugger mode, so later on I can use uh, Control F9. It's gonna rebuild, okay? And go here, oh sorry. And here we have to go to from here and click conditional expression. You can see you will have if then, and here you will see the first street, which is person one. And you will see uh, for the person two here, in the second paragraph, you see nothing because person two dot address is a false, it's a noun, noun equals to the false value, so you didn't see anything here, okay? Next one, this is one, and sometimes you want to achieve if then else, if it uh, exists, I will show it, otherwise I will show another value if it's false, okay, how to do that? Paragraph, okay, and the default support this one using zip code. How about it? Zip code, okay. Still using th text, okay. And here, if person two a uh, one dot address exists. Oh, uh, sorry, no, 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 no. Address exists. Yes, yes. And then it will show person one. Okay, person one dot address dot zip code. Otherwise, not exist. Okay, but in this case, person one do have address, so you will see this value. Okay, five two five five six. And uh, we have another condition here, uh, th text, which is uh, person two dot address. We know person two doesn't have address, so it won't display person two dot address dot zip code because it's false. Then it will using else, okay? Else person two doesn't. Uh, does not have a address, okay, an address, okay, and uh, that's we have, this one default zip code 1, and this one default zip code 2, how about, uh, lazy, okay, 1, this one, two. okay, so let's uh, control F9, and it's gonna rebuild, Hope this time I don't need to, okay, load the classes and then go back to the page. Oh my God, doesn't it work for me? <sighs> Close, I will rerun it. Okay, and it goes here, condition expression. What cannot pass expression here? Okay, line 15. Let me see if I made some syntax error. Person one, person one, person one, person one. Have colon, 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 colon. And, uh, ah, ah, here. Here has one syntax error. Okay, I forgot to close this one. Okay, and then let's run one more time. Good. And then it goes back, conditional expression. Mm, perfect. So for if this, uh, then else, see the person one has address. So you will see this piece of information. Didn't see not exist. But for the person two, doesn't have address. So if you are using the else, you will see person two does not have an address. Okay, default. This is uh, if then else, this is one. 
Next one, uh, next one we have is called uh, H2, called uh, Elvis Operator, okay? And what is Elvis Operator? Okay, sorry, let me fold my arm. And uh, which is default, suppose still default address, how about that, okay? And what? What is Elvis, which is TH, still TH text, and uh, it looks like this, doesn't it have this part, okay, only has this part, okay, person, address, okay, question, and uh, colon, and then I will use this piece, okay, does not exist. What that mean? Elvis means if this part is true, it's gonna just display whatever the value evaluated in this uh, variable expression, okay? And if this part is a uh, false, then it's gonna display information of this part, okay? The difference between this one and this one is if this one is true, it's going to display the value of the second expression, variable expression. But in the Elvis, if this part is true, then the thing displayed on the page, it's going to be this value. It's going to call the address to string method. And let's do another one for the address to, right? <coughs> and here, person two is a false. Okay, if this part is a false, it's gonna display this information. Okay, let me use. Okay, add some dot 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 dot. Okay, dot. Okay, to differentiate this one and this one. So let's run for the Elvis operator. Why my control for now doesn't it work? <sighs> so, get an idea for the Elvis. Elvis, you. This is another string taught taught me how. You here, okay. And using this part, and I close this one, okay. And in the Elvis. So Elvis, this is the value for the Elvis first value. You can see this part is true. Then it's gonna just display what's information here. So this information, when you it's kind it's same as your expression, it's gonna call the two string method because address is an object, right? So two string method in my address I didn't override. So you're gonna see some address value. Okay, I didn't override. And for my person two, it's a none. Since it's now, it will display the default message you put here. Person who doesn't have an address. Okay, that's for Elvis. Then we have the last one, which is called if else. If unless, sorry. Called if unless. Paragraph, okay. And uh, this is, uh, let's use the demo I wrote before, uh, called the female. And here we are using male. And uh, sometimes in Java, uh, in JSP, you also have some, here you add a condition to decide display female or not display female, right? So in my conditional expression, this controller, oh, it's better to name as a controller. Let's add another attribute called the model dot attribute this one are using gender and here the default value is a female okay and then what is if else okay th if condition okay if this gender equals equals f we're using this f right we're using this f Yes, this f. This one th if equals this f, which means if this part resolved is true, it's gonna display female. Okay, let me run. Okay, 
see see this piece okay you will see female okay female and uh, what uh, this one male you have another th on less okay and uh, if we give the same expression what does this one do if the gender are not female then you're gonna display male but my gender is a female so you cannot see male Okay, good. See? Because my gender is a female. And TH unless means if your gender is not female, so you will say male. Now, if I change this one to be M, change to be M, then you cannot see this condition because this one means if gender equals female, F, you will see female. But my gender change to male, right? And the male is not the same as female, so you will see male. Okay. Mm -mm. Finish. You will see male. Because now you are, doesn't match this condition. Okay. So that's it for our conditional expression. If you have any question, leave a comment. And thank you for watching this video. See you next time. Bye-bye.